Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone. Okay, we are still in chapter 5.1 on the numeric filing. So for today, this will be uh, video number 4. Okay, video number 4 for chapter 5.1 which is uh, will continue with the second type of uh, numeric filing which is a terminal digit numbering method. Okay. Have, has uh, when we recall back, uh, we had learned on one one type of uh, numeric filing, which is a consecutive uh, numeric filing. Okay, that consecutive numeric filing where we assign from the as, uh, number in the ascending order from the lowest to the highest number. But here, terminal digit numbering method is the other way around, okay, at which uh, we still use the number, but the way we read the numbers will be different so here terminal digit filing method is where you use the numbers in a filing at which you use the last two or three digits of the number for each okay at which it will be uh, for the last two or three digit numbers will be the primary division under which the record will be filed maksud di sini okay bila kita kata sebut terminal digit numbering method kita akan guna Dua atau tiga digit terakhir nombor tersebut sebagai okay, primary division. Okay, pembahagi utama di mana primary division ni menunjukkan ke mana rekod itu akan disimpan. Sebab bila when we talk about primary division, primary division maksudnya nombor cabinet, nombor rak, nombor drawer. Okay, that's why we say that primary divisions, okay here, primary division under which the record is filed. Okay, and it been used by the organizations with at least they have a 10,000 files and above in their filing system. Okay, most of the company that use the terminal digit numbering method will be hospital, okay, the large medical clinics and also the insurance company. Okay, as we learned previously, why we use the number? Because the numbers can maintain the confidentiality of the record. Alright, so... One of the reason why the uh, in the healthcare or uh, for example a hospital and clinic as well as the insurance company use the digits because it's not uh, display the name of the patient. Okay, it's only display the number. All right, and these numbers are divided into three groups of two or three digit numbers. Meaning here, okay, the complete numbers might have about. Um, uh, 8 to 9 numbers and at which it been divided equally and at which each of the group will have 2 or 3 digit. Okay, there are 3 kumpulan nombor dan each of the number kumpulan nombor ini akan mempunyai 2 ataupun 3 digit. Alright, so these numbers will be read from the right to the left and it, ha it has a meaning. Okay, kita baca nombor tu daripada uh, in our Malaytum, maksudnya kita baca daripada belakang ke depan. Alright, and here the primary number, okay, nombor yang kita sebut primary number adalah nombor kita panggil terminal digit. Di mana ia adalah merupakan the numbers of the file section, drawer or shelf. Okay, primary numbers adalah digit terakhir okay, dalam kumpulan digit tersebut di mana dia merupakan uh, merujuk kepada nombor uh, bahagian section drawer ataupun shelf. Alright, and the secondary numbers is actually referring to the guide number okay, at which this guide number will display in each of the shelf section and also the drawer. Alright, and Behind the guide number, there will be the folder. And these folders will refer on the tertiary number. Okay, tertiary numbers, again, is referred to the folder number. And it will give the order in which the folder is located under the guides. So here, it's very important for you to know uh, what means by the primary number, secondary number, and also tertiary number. Because each of the numbers will have meanings. Okay, again, primary number will determine uh, the numbers of the drawer, the section, or the shelf. Okay, the secondary numbers is what, at which it will determine the, the numbers of the guide. Okay, and the lastly is the tertiary number at which is the folder number so don't worry i will show you letters okay letter 
uh, with this example here. Okay, for example, uh, the record numbers is 351465. So as you can see on the screen, 35, 14, 65. So this six digit numbers is divided into three groups. Okay, it is divided into three groups. Okay, so here we have one, two, and three. So here, the last digit number, the two two last digit numbers is are referring to terminal digit. The, the, this group is referring to terminal digit at which this terminal digit, okay, kita nama dia terminal digit numbering group. So terminal digit will be the primary number. And this primary number will be referring to the file section, drawer or shelf number, meaning that in order for you to get this file, yang nombor dia ada 35, 14, 65. Okay, you need to go to the drawer number 65. Ataupun shelf uh, number 65. Ataupun section bahagian 65. Okay, and the next one is, uh, we read from the right to the left just now. Daripada belakang ke hadapan. Okay, nombor di tengah ini membawa maksud secondary number. Okay, this secondary number membawa maksud nombor guide. Maksudnya, this file yang mempunyai nombor 35, 14, 65 berada di drawer 65 di bahagian, berada di drawer number 65 ataupun rak 65 dan dia berada di pembahagi guide yang bernama 14. Okay, dan here 35 is what we call tertiary number at which is the folder number dan di belakang guide number 14 dia adalah file yang ke 35 okay simply what i can say here okay in order for you to uh, uh, in order for you to trace where the location of this file okay file number ni ada 35 14 65 okay kat mana kita nak trace kedudukan file ini kita boleh pergi dekat rak 65 okay sebab primary digit will uh, will primary will determine uh, the location of the rack uh, of the rack uh, the drawer the shelf or the section okay so kita pergi kepada rack 65 and then dalam enak rack 65 kita akan pergi kepada guide guide tu yang penanda ingat lagi tak penanda pembahagi nombor 14 dan belakang pembahagi 14 dia berada di kedudukan uh, folder yang ke 35 alright so, uh, so let's, uh, we have a look on this example. Okay, this is the number. Okay, kita baca daripada belakang ke ha, depan. From the right to the left. Okay, and this file, it been arranged, ini di bahagian hadapan. Kalau you buka drawer, dia berada di depan sekali. Front of file and end of file. Why? Because we will arrange according to the terminal digit. Number 1258, 2187. Makin lama, makin me meningkat ke bawah. Right? However, okay, here. Okay, this is terminal digit. Okay, so primary numbers usually will indicate a drawer or the shelf number. Okay, so here. Uh, somehow, in a certain certain situations, there will be the primary numbers are the same here, uh, are the same. Okay, so when the primary number is the similar, okay, sama, okay, the primary numbers. For example, here the number. Okay, as you can see here, the primary numbers is the same. So what we need to do here, we need to look into for the secondary numbers. Okay, this is a secondary. This is a primary numbers. Then we will work on the secondary numbers to determine the, the the arrangement so 2891 is the primary same with 2891 so we'll look into the secondary numbers 40 and 99 which one come first yes it should be 40 first so this should be the first uh for first one and this will be the second one followed by this one okay so let's we have a look on the other example here Okay, for example, here we have the same primary number, 6314, 6314. Okay, why I read from the back? Because this is a numeric filing method where the last digit will be the primary digit. Okay, so 6314 is seems. Okay, so it will look into the secondary numbers. Okay. As compared 28 with 29, which one comes first? Definitely, it will be 28. So, 94728, 
even though you see this 947 is larger than 287 but we don't read on that way we read from the back from the right to the left okay this is similar and then we'll look into the secondary uh, number and the secondary number we compare 28 and 20 now which one comes first it is a 28 so this one will be the first one and this will be the second one all right so here uh in a certain certain situation as well okay you might have at which the primary and also the secondary digit is the same okay for example like this one okay at which the primary digit which is the last digit or terminal digit is same 9485 9485 and its middle digit okay or the secondary digits is similar it's a 64 and a 64 so what we need to do we will look into the our tertiary number okay this is a primary secondary and tertiary i repeat this is the primary in a green circle a square okay in the blue one is the secondary number and in the yellow box is a tertiary number so this tertiary number 498 and 502 which one come first is a 498 that's why this number is come first before this one so in a certain situation it can be happen at which the primary is similar so we'll look into the secondary number but if like say so the secondary number also the same and the primary number also the same then we will look into the tertiary number okay my dear student okay let's we have a look on this uh what we call shelf rock okay this is the an arrangement of the folder in the portions of shelf 32 maksudnya dia adalah shelf 32 that's why as you can see here okay this 32 is been appear on the beginning of the shelf all right so this indicate this is the primary number for that particular uh, record okay record shelf so it's begin with 32 as you can see here 32 32 okay 32 32 and it's all begin with the 32 all right and the secondary numbers will determine the primary guide caption so we have the here is a, a primary number and okay at the back of primary number then we will have the secondary numbers for example like 32 okay primary secondary is 24 that's why as you can see here we have 24 25 and 26 okay so this will be indicate that here the section of the shaft begin with the guide 24 until 32 okay we have a 24 here okay until 32 all right throughout of the shaft all right and as you can see 24 32 okay so this is 25 32 and 26 32 okay it's still under 32 here all right so here record are arranged behind the each guide by the tertiary number okay this is primary this is a secondary and this is a what we call tertiary at the back here so here for example okay for uh for primary number 32 and the secondary uh of 24 okay they have here begin with 322400 okay sama uh, why i show this one because i want you to know that how we the uh, we get the number okay three two two four zero three three two two four zero four so this uh, number yang remain adalah this one 32 and also 24 yang this one dia berubah okay as we have a look on this example when you do a filing for number 50 27 54 using the terminal digit so you will read from the right to the left right to the left so here okay 50 27 54 54 will be the primary numbers okay 27 will be secondary and tertiary will be 50 so we read the file will be at the uh, shelf number 54 okay at which the guide number is 27 and then folder numbers is 50 
Okay, so that is how we read. So the next we will continue with the middle digit.